Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 2nd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We've just launched our brand new trading signal program on Patreon. You're welcome to go and check that out. In addition, you'll get my uh, private trades as a part of that signal program. So let's get starting with the U.S. indices. We'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have broken below the 100 moving average. And now that is basically acting as resistant. So next week is going to be really interesting. And I also think that the pattern of this is very, very interesting. We can say that we have a top here. We have nearly a double top that is not really confirmed yet. But at least we have a top of 3,588. And it looks like at the moment we have lows here of 3,200 or there above. So this was previous support, support, and now we've broken underneath the 100 moving average. It will be interesting whether or not we break to this through this um, support area. If we do, then we have the 150 moving average underneath, the 200 and the 300 moving average underneath. Um, bear in mind, we are significantly oversold at this moment. So I would not be surprised if we rallied from here. However, we need an indication that that is going to happen. Um, so if we look at the technical indicators, we see that the MACD is still very bearish. The CCI has turned around. And the, MACD, the stochastic is about to turn around, and the Bollinger Band is pressing the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And usually, when that happens, we technically turn around. We can see it what happened here, and when we go up, we did the same thing. When we touch the um, top or the bottom of the Bollinger Band, we usually turn around. So, we are trading technically sideways. We have done that for quite some time now. We can go all the way back in to August. We haven't been on this bullish run for 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 quite some time. We're technically trading sideways, and we've done that for a long time now. So whether or not this is um, technically the bottom of this market at this point will be may well be. If we break through these uh, moving averages, then we go much lower. We'll go down to three thousand one hundred, and then we'll go to down to three thousand. And um, yes. There are other uh, varying factors as well. Coronavirus is a massive problem um, at the moment, especially in Europe. Um, France has shut down, and Britain is announcing um, today that it is going to shut down for one month. And we this was very similar to what happened in March and April um, this year when when. Few company, uh, countries start shutting down. Most of the other company, uh, company companies countries uh, start shutting down as well. And of course, we know what happened. This happened. So we the stock market just fell apart. So it wasn't just the corona. We know that now that um, big names on Wall Street got information about the coronavirus. And they went back to Wall Street and basically asked the, um, the major uh, actors on Wall Street to basically sell everything. And therefore, this just fell, well, fell extremely fast. This is the fastest decline in stock market history. Um, so maybe we need basically a shutdown in the United States and a massive sell-off in order to see that again. I don't really see that happening. Um, I think that's going to be more restrictions in the United States and probably not a, a complete shutdown as we, as we saw earlier this year. So if we rally from here, we'll find the 100 moving average resistant, the 50 moving average resistant, and then, of course, these highs as resistant. But we'll see. Uh, the presidential election is going to um, have a lot of negative um, a negative impact on the stock market, usually. Usually that is the case. Um, but afterwards, when we find out who is the winner, technically, who's going to be the next president, um, 
I guess this market would rally. Uh, Biden, uh, Obama, Biden presidency was a really, really good thing for the stock market. We had the biggest bull run in history, 11 years uh, before Corona hit and uh, the stock market went into decline and the economy as well and, and so on. So we'll see. Uh, if we break below this, we'll go much lower. If we rally from here, then we'll probably go back to the highs. So we look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones hit uh, significant uh, support here at the 200 moving average. And this was one of my major trades on Friday. Um, we are significantly oversold at this point. So I feel really good about this trade. And I don't expect this market to go anywhere um, in the nearest, uh, nearest future. I think we will rally at least up to the to the um, to the hundred moving average at the uh, twenty seven thousand, and probably all the way up to this area here around uh, twenty seven thousand five hundred before we uh, get rejected again. Uh, maybe so, um, but at this point we are significantly uh, oversold. Technical indicators are turning around. Uh, you can see the CCI is turning around and the stochastic is turning around. And the bullion demand is very, very stretched. We could see uh, a little bit choppiness before the election sideways, but I don't expect this market to go any lower than this at, at this point. We're just too oversold for that to, to happen. So at this moment, we are trading in a highs of 29,000. In 200 and we're trading at the lows around here uh, go down there at 26,000 so we are at the bottom significantly oversold I am definitely a buyer in this market at this point with a stop loss underneath so if you look at the Nasdaq we can see that the Nasdaq fell um, broke the 100 moving average and is trading underneath the 100 moving average at this point. We have nearly a double top here that is not really confirmed. We need to basically break the bottom here in order to confirm that. And we have the very lows here of around 10,700 uh, or 10,600. Um, take a, give a, a few points around 7, 700. So at this point, the Nasdaq is oversold. We're at 21 here in the RSI. Technical, other technical indicators are not as, as as bullish as they are for, for example, for the for the Dow Jones. So I would not be surprised if we stick around here for some time. We could rally. That is possible. But we could also have um, trading sideways for a few days before the election, for example. So, so we need a um, clear signal that we are going to go higher, because otherwise we could fall towards these lows and then go higher. If this breaks, then we go significantly lower. We'll go all the way down to the 150 moving average at 10,300, and possibly to the, to, the, to the 200 moving average here around 10,000. And that would be a lot of buyers would jump in to buy buy that. But at this point, 100 moving average has been breached and we're trading slightly underneath. If we follow further, then we'll, we'll find um, quite a lot of support here around 10,700 and then we'll most likely rally. Uh, the stochastic has not turned around. The CCI has not turned around. MACD is looking bearish. Uh, Bollinger Band is a little bit overstretched, but that... So we'll probably have one or more or two more trading days before we um, rally, if we are going to rally. And if we are rallying, then we'll find resistance here at the 50 moving average, 11,500, and then here at 12,200 12, before we go to the highs. So help you, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. You're welcome to join our channel. Um, 
signal um, signal um, service on uh, Patreon, and we'll also add additional content um, if you join that service. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.